I have no idea why we have some middle school science experiment growing on the counter. My wife's gotten weird. Happy to be home. Gotta get back to work though. Uh, phone calls, emails, stuff to finish setting up meetings two weeks from now. That's kind of typically my workflow for the real job is I try to have everything booked for that week. I book it two weeks back, so pretty cool. And then uh, gotta look at the schedule and start figuring out how I'm gonna plan my attack for the world championships in Alaska. And I'll walk you guys through that a little bit. All right, so breaking down what the next four weeks are gonna look like going into world championships. Four weeks, and I'm gonna divide that up into three days. Now on day one, I'm gonna go ahead and squat, bench. Day two, I'll deadlift and uh, push press. And then day three will be snatch and some type of explosive movement. Uh, week one's gonna be 10 sets of three at 65% uh, for all the movements. Week two's gonna be uh, eight reps of two at 70. Week three is going to be six sets of two at 75. And week four will be six singles at 75. The key to this is moving the weight fast and me feeling explosive. I'm also going to be doing three, four day, three to four days of throwing if I'm not competing, which I only compete once leading up to the World Championships from now. And I'll be in Chicago that weekend. That'll be on the end of week three. Uh, I will go ahead and do, I'm only gonna compete once between now and the World Championships. And on that week, I will throw four times and that fourth will be the contest. If I don't have a contest, I'm also gonna try to get in a fourth day of throwing. Now, throwing is also gonna ramp up intensity where I'm gonna put in a lot more effort toward the end of the week to try to make sure I'm hitting some bigger throws quicker. So do take some time that day, get loose and not just get some reps in, whereas beginning of the week will be some more reps with a little bit heavier implements. Uh, also, things I'm going to be doing is really focusing on recovery so that I feel as good as I can going into the games in Alaska. One of those things will be chiropractor appointments on a regular basis, uh, going to get stretched out uh, as well, um, and massages. Uh, as well as anything I'm doing on my own, working with the compacts or doing my own mobility and movement in the morning. Is this going to be the key? I don't know. But I've got to stack the cards in my favor and this is the plan of attack that I have. I'm going to slowly ramp down and build up and have a little bit more energy come into it. And I want to be moving some weight fast. Now all this will depend on how good my knee is actually going to feel leading into that. So we'll see how she goes. And uh, now back to rest of training from the other day. In the gym today, I'm going to squat, I'm going to bench. Um, also something new today, uh, Drew is going to join me. Been a friend of mine for like, 12 years. Drew's trying to make some lifestyle changes and get healthier and uh, I'm gonna open the garage and open some uh, some training up to him. And so if he wants to uh, train with me, awesome. Believe me, I am not a personal trainer. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. I'm not really a great coach. But I do show up consistently and I know how to train. So Let's see what we can do, get Drew started. So today's like basically day one, the first time he's ever touched weights in his life. Should be, uh, should be good. Try not to kill him. It's not really the goal. You know, the goal of this isn't to prove how fucking hard I am or how long I've worked out. The goal is to start him down the path so he can start training. So today, bench and squat, like I said, I'm gonna work up to about 65% and uh, hit some uh, triples. So it should be good. Now, what up, Holmes? About that time? You may remember Drew. What? You may remember Drew from uh, season two, Drift to Lifta. Operation Home Front. There it goes. That's a I wish it would have been one of those snake in a can. <laughs> He's back. Season does. So, dudes. All right. So, I was basically explaining this is uh, like day one of ever. Yeah. So, pros Should be good. Versus pros. Yeah. Great. Quick hips up warm up, and then we're gonna get on some box squats. Uh, use safety bar. Drew may do some head fills depending on where he's at. All right. Squats. I hope that you are listening. I 
think you better go ahead and call for help. I think you better call. You better call. I think you better call. Cause I'm calling you out. I think you better call. I think you better call. Cause I'm calling you out. I think you better call. So that stop is it supposed to like turn? Yep. So no, when I touch my yeah, face yeah, don't do bit. that or put it in your eyes. Super bad, move your pistol. <laughs> Disappearing, I felt like rearranging myself. I felt like engineering something that would make you want to call for help. I felt like everyone expected me to keep on living out these higher dreams. I hope that you are listening. I think you better go ahead and call for help. Squat's done. It's 10 sets of three. Uh, Drew hammered out some high rep sets around 10, four or five sets, and uh, putting them through some stretching. Uh. All right, it's day one. It's been good. So, just trying to get some stuff broke up. Drew spent the last seven or eight years mostly sitting at a desk doing some graphic design work or playing music not being as active as he could be. And so now uh, we got some unfucking to do, <laughs> which is good. But like I said before, there's no reason to, a lot of trainers do this. You have a buddy who's not training, comes to work out with you, like I have something to prove of how much I can lift and out condition him. Fuck, I hope I can, I've lifted for 20 years. So instead, what I want him to do is enjoy it to an extent and want to do more. So that's a game plan. We'll do this two more times or maybe three times this week. So, I'm gonna bench now. It's the same way that guys like me will get stressed out like after knee surgery. Yeah. They're like, oh fuck, I haven't worked out in three weeks. But I'm weak. It's, like, you're not fucking weak, bud. It's also this, you know, um, inherent desire to be the best at something. Of course. And. Fuck, like you set out to be not good at something? Right. I mean, I know that I'm good, but then like I'll ask, like I'm, I get swamped, I reach out to Matt Dawson for help. He's basically you know, an in-house designer for us. That's it. That's the whole workout. Drew rolled out already. It's awesome. I'm really excited to uh, work a little bit with Drew. He's trying to get some shit together in his life, and Drew's been a really close friend for quite some time. So, I, I'm not personal training, I'm just lending some assistance, to be clear on that. 
Uh, I know more about working out than he does. So, just gonna try to help him and uh, you know, slow and steady. I'm not trying to kill him, not trying to prove anything. And so my workout was good. Uh, hit some bench, hit my squats, um, and now I'm gonna do some mobility stuff. That's really another thing I think I can really add quite a bit of quality to my throw. Come uh, time for Worlds in a little bit, in four weeks. Do I think I'm gonna get terribly stronger in four weeks or more explosive? Not really, but I can not do those things. I could get worse. Um, but I do think I can add some, some positions and mobility, which that gives me a longer time to push on and implement. So that's what I'm gonna do, is work on those things, do some smashing, do some stretching, and that is the day. Uh, kettlebell swings with the band, get the glutes and everything firing, as well as that's kind of some conditioning for a, a super set. All right, that's basically it. I'm gonna start trying to add some sled push back into my life, which I don't really wanna do. I sent a message out to uh, the guy who won the contest a couple weeks back. Thanks a bunch, and uh, hopefully that stuff will end up in the mail to you before too long. Have a good one.